This video will show you how to create a service connector to interact with third-party services that are available over HTTP as REST or SOAP services. In this video, we will show you to create a service connector in two different ways. By importing metadata definition either as a Swagger JSON or a WSDL. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. Select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named Service Connectors. Let us create a service connector using API documentation. We will use the Thomas Bayer service. Thomas Bayer service is available at this URL. There are four operations exposed by this service, out of which we would be using customer and invoice. Let's look at how to invoke these operations. Customer operation takes a customer ID as an input parameter and returns customer details. Similarly, invoice operation takes invoice ID as an input parameter and returns invoice details. Now that we know the signature of the operations to be invoked for this service, let's create a service connector. Click New, select Service Connectors and click Create. The Service Connector Edit window opens. The Definition tab defines the name and description of the service connector. Enter Thomas Bayer as the name of the connector. The Actions tab defines the operations available for the service. We will define two actions, Get Invoice and Get Customer. First, we will define Get Invoice. In the Action tab, we have entered Get Invoice as the name of the action and category Thomas Bayer. The Input tab defines the input required to invoke this service. We will add an input field invoice ID. Retain the default type as text and enter a value for the test with text box. The Binding tab defines a URL where the service call is made. The Output tab defines the output fields. Add a few output fields. Enter ID as a name and retain the default type as text. Select Property, ID for the Get From field. Similarly, we have added Customer ID, Total, Response Code and Response Code X Query. The Test tab lets you test the service. Select Test on Cloud Server and click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 indicates the test has succeeded. Next, we'll add the Get Customer action. Click the Add icon. In the Action tab, enter Get Customer as the name of the action and category Thomas Bayer. The Input tab requires a Customer ID to perform the operation and get back the customer details. Add an Input field. Enter Customer ID as the name. Retain the default type as text and enter a value 12 in the test with text box. The Binding tab defines the URL. The Output tab defines the customer information. We'll add the output fields here. First, We'll add the ID field. Retain the default type as text and select Property ID for the Get From field. Similarly, we have added first name, last name, street, and city. You can also add fields which derive their value as an expression, which can consist of X query functions applied on the available fields. For example, if you were to add a field called Test, you can choose it to be of type expression and define the expression by clicking the function icon. As you can see, the input and output fields are available to be a part of the expression and functions and process objects. In the Test tab, select Test on Cloud Server and click Test 
to test the service. The test is successful and displays customer information like ID, name and address. Save and publish the service connector. Next, we will create a service connector using metadata definition either as a Swagger JSON or a WSDL. In this video, we will create using Swagger. Click New and Service Connectors. Click Service Connector Patterns, select Create from Swagger and click Create. The new Service Connector from Swagger window opens. Enter name as Marquito Login API. Choose file to upload the Swagger file from your local folder. Note, you can download the Swagger file from the location shown here in the note box. Click Next. Review the service and operations and click Next. Review the summary and next steps and click Finish. We will now configure the service connector. The definition tab defines connection properties. In this case, hostname is defined and pre-configured. The actions tab defines the operations available for this service. Action defines the generic properties for this operation. The input tab defines the inputs required for this operation to work. Client ID Client secret and grant type are mandatory input fields, whereas the partner ID is not mandatory. Enter values in the test with text boxes for each of these input fields. To add more input fields, click the Add icon. Enter details here. To delete, click the Delete icon. The binding tab defines the URL that you will connect to. The Output tab defines the output fields. We will add a few output fields. Similarly, we have added output fields like Access Token, Scope, Token Type, Expires In and Response. The Test tab lets you test your service connector. Click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 indicates the test has succeeded. Save and publish the service connector. We will now build a connection on top of the Marquito login service connector we just created. Click New and Connections. Enter Marquito login API action as the connection name. Select the service type from the folders. Select where we want to run the connection and enter the host name. Save and publish the connection. Follow similar steps to create connection on Thomas Bayer Service Connector. This concludes the demonstration on creating a service connector and building a connection on top of it.